There's nothing better than getting home on a Friday with a brand new PC case on your doorstep to start a new project. But upon further inspection, I felt foolish as I ordered one of the PC cases that includes LED fans or fans that are static in nature, which means that there are no RGB effects. Oh, it's just simply soldered on LEDs of a particular color. So we're gonna have to fix that, but let's bring this PC case inside, shall we? Today, we are going to pick up some used PC parts from the marketplace. But instead of hunting them, I actually sent these parts to a friend of mine, Min. He's, uh, if you're new to the channel, he's like a common figure on the channel. So we're gonna go to his place. He has a bunch of other things, I guess, that are floating around that he wants to pass off on me. And we're gonna try to throw together some PCs to sell on the marketplace. I don't know if it's because there's an election coming up, but it seems like every town has collectively gotten together to redo all of the roads at once. I want to see this thing. Hold on, what happened here? He sealed it off. Oh, no. This comes like this. This case with this stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually included. PC, you're oh, bringing the one you built? I have to bring this one down to put the CD, put it in my house. Um, I had to cut this part off just because he was disclosing some personal information, but I'd like to also say that he is about to move a few towns over. So um, he's not really, he doesn't have a ton of stuff at the moment and we're a little bit limited, but uh, yeah, just wanted to mention that. All right, so it's been a few days and the case finally came in. And there's a few things about this case that at first glance I really liked um, and I mentioned it probably a minute ago before this in the pre-recording. Uh, the only problem is the fans. So it comes with these nice, like pretty nice looking fans, but the fans are all static RGB. And I'll show you guys that after. I'm not even gonna bother turning it on with them. I'm gonna rip them out and we're gonna use these. And these were, they're gonna add to the, the total budget, but these things are like really great deals right now. You can find them from like 11 to $15 for a three pack. So we're gonna have to add $25 on top of the total build cost, but I'll get to that in a minute. It's still really reasonable. These are the fans guys, by the way, if anyone's looking, currently they are $13.19. On sale, they were about $11, but um, they come in black and white. Having the six fans really helps sell the product. If you're looking to sell PCs, having the six RGB fans is totally, it's a huge win. Um, let's move on to the next part. So we got the B450 Pro Max. And the reason why the IO shield is out is cause the guy who gave this to Min actually gave him the wrong. Oh, I can do it. I can. Wow, is that so hard? Wow. All right, uh, gave him the wrong IO shield. So check this out. It looks like it's gonna line up. It looks like a similar IO layout, but then it's missing the VGA, which why this motherboard has a VGA in the first place blows my mind. Uh, so I'm actually gonna take a Dremel and cut the VGA out. Little did I know I would have to cut up the entire IO shield. Up next, we have these really bright uh, cables, and I'm a little bit questioning if I should use these. I'm not sure. I do have a set of white ones. We'll see how it looks in the finished product. Maybe I'll leave them, maybe I won't, who knows. Um, I got one of these because of all the fans. So this is just a little tiny hub thing. It came with some case. I don't remember when or where. We have the Ryzen 3600, which is actually a pretty decent processor still today. These can be found really cheap. And here's kind of like the whole idea of this build is that you can recreate this for around the same price pretty easily right now. And uh, a lot of these parts are like really cheap, even like this motherboard. It's like you could find this board for probably around 50 bucks. Um, so these go for like 50, 50 to $60, the Ryzen 3600. Um, jumping over to the power supplies. So I made a quick decision on this system to actually go with this 450. Um, this is the power supply that Min had given me with all the parts for the $240. And I'll tell you this, it's not a bad power supply, but this 450 is actually a bit better. Um, the 600 Smart is, it's an 80 plus white, whereas this is an 80 plus bronze, which I don't even know if we should be looking at those standards anymore. Apparently uh, manufacturers have been kind of lying, but um, this is gonna just be a better overall system uh, 
better overall PSU for this system. I'm gonna use this one for something else and uh, we'll move on from that. Up next, we have the DDR4, which again, nothing special. This is a uh, 3000, I believe it's a uh, CL16, uh, 16, 18, 18, 38. So two sticks of eight, so you get 16 gigs of RAM. Nothing crazy, uh, nothing pretty either, either to be honest, but this actually came with, uh, his original build came with one stick and that $50 PC came with the other. So we got 16 gigs of matching memory, which is also unusual for pretty cheap. Um, up next we have, and this is actually pretty good. This is a Gen 4 NVMe SSD. This is an Aorus, uh, I don't know what speed it is. Of course I looked it up. It's a 7,300 megabytes per second Gen 4 SSD, which is pretty crazy for 2020 to be honest. If I was to guess, it's probably above 5,000, but I'm not entirely sure. We'll look that up after. So the cooler, nothing exciting, but this is the bigger, thicker cooler that we got off the $50 PC versus the smaller AMD cooler. And I also went and painted this ring to look a little bit different on here, have like kind of a silver effect to match the white and the silver on this card. And lastly, the piece that most people will be wondering about, this is the RTX 2060 Super 8 gigabyte model. So this is gonna have eight gigs of GDR6, GDDR6, I can never say that correctly. And um, it's kinda the cheaper one. This is the Ventus, it has the plastic backplate. It's uh, not the most quality of all the 2060 Supers, but it'll do, and it does look pretty good. It kinda matches the theme with the silver going with the kind of white theme. So anyways, let's get to building this PC by now. Well, this did not go as well as I planned because these didn't line up up here as well. I know it sounds crazy to say this, but if you're gonna sell a product, like sell a motherboard or something, just try to remember the IO shield because it's the biggest thing that completes a PC for anyone like building or selling, flipping PCs, or even just building a PC in general. The worst thing is to see that gaping hole in the back. Ugh. All right, guys, I just came home from a rave, so I hope you uh, enjoy this music. I gotta tell you, I really love building AMD AM4 systems. They're just so easy to throw together. I know I talked a lot of crap about this PC case, but it's really not that bad. I'm not gonna recommend this thing. It's a, uh, it practically hangs up in the air for a second. Now it's time for the finished product and some benchmarks. Y'all ready to go? Put your seatbelt on. There we go. to the benchmarks. So I'm gonna start with Cyberpunk as I usually do. I feel like this game gives a pretty good baseline how all the other games are gonna run based off of what I have done in the past. So uh, yeah, we're gonna start out with Cyberpunk and we're in the city at 1080p ultra settings. We're using DLSS quality. We're getting 85 FPS on average with a 1% low of 66 FPS and then jumping up to 1440p. Uh, same settings, we are seeing 57 FPS and a 1% low of 40 FPS. Also, please note, I will be testing everything at the highest settings except for Fortnite. Uh, I'm just doing that so that you know you can get better performance if you lower those settings. Then up next, every time I see these crabs in Far Cry, I just think of that one thing Linus plays all the time. 
Anyways, so Far Cry 6 at 1080p ultra settings, we are seeing an average FPS of 80 and a 1% low of 59. Jumping over to 1440p, we are seeing an average FPS of 61 and a 1% low of 52. Now for the game I have just started over because I feel like this game deserves more attention than it got. Um, this is Metro Exodus and I'm getting beat up like every time I play this game I'm just getting destroyed. But uh, yeah, 1080p, their extreme setting is an average 66 FPS with a 1% low of 52 FPS. Keep in mind too, this is not the um, enhanced edition, just, this is just the regular Metro Exodus. And then jumping over to 1440p extreme settings, we're seeing an average 53 FPS with a 1% low of 40 FPS. So finally for Fortnite, I really could not get into like any good matches and maybe my patience is low, but um, we're just gonna be testing 1080p performance settings, which is like low and uh, maxed out render distance and um, 1080p, complete 1080p, no, no funny business. So the average FPS is 261 and the 1% low was 160. And I pretty much died right away in this first match. I did actually have this system play out a few matches before recording a final um, FPS number because I don't know if you guys know, but Fortnite is like really stuttery for the first few rounds. So if you're ever testing Fortnite, just keep that in mind. All right, guys, I promised everybody one last thing, and that's the the uh, winner of the 1650 Super from the last video. So we're gonna do that right now. And that's a lovely face that I'm making right there. But I wanna show you guys, I'm selecting this copy. I'm gonna go to Random Comet Selector. And I'm gonna make sure, cause sometimes it puts the wrong one in. 535S, 535S, okay, fetch. Anything goes. Uh, no duplicates. I saw there were a few duplicates. Include replies. No replies. It's going to be a very small amount of people. So whoever wins, that will be, uh, let's see, 49 comets. Pick a winner. Haunt de Luna. Congrats on the 5K. Uh, congrats on your winning Haunt de Luna. If you are in the United States, I will send the card out to you. You just got to reach out to me in my email with Papa. Sorry. My cat is doing uh, all sorts of funny things right now. So yeah, just uh, shoot me an email, taekwondo at uh, taekwondousa at gmail. That's gonna be the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, sub if you want, and yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now. Bye. Bye.